What's up guys, Chris here. Today we are checking out the 2022 Trek Merlin 6. Haven't had many new bikes coming out, haven't had many bikes coming into stock, so we've been a little lacking on just the straight bike review videos. It'll be nice to get right back into it with something I said is the everyday carry bike of last year. And with the changes to it, it's pretty much completely changed the game. Let's jump right into it. So that's right, you heard me correctly. Again, another 2022 bike has been released. The bike shortage is still here. And realistically, it's not just a bike shortage. It's an overall just lack of getting product in. Essentially, we've skipped so far through the 2021 model year. There is no need for them to make it. The production would have been started for these bikes anyway. So they're just bumping them out a little bit sooner in release dates and hopefully their ship dates will follow soon. So last year, I was talking about the Trek Marlin 6 as the everyday carry bike. That being said, the new Marlin 5 is essentially the Marlin 6. So what has Trek done and where have they gone with the 2022 Trek Marlin 6? It's kind of exactly where you thought. They made it the Marlin 7. Now, this isn't an exact replica as the Marlin 5 is. There is some minor changes, but the big change to it, it has lost that two by and it has gone to the one by. It's not got eight gears on the rear anymore, it's got 10. It has that Shimano Dior system. It is what the 2021 Trek Merlin 7 shifting was, but now it's the Trek Merlin 6. Honestly, it's very confusing, but big changes though, is it does not go with that Judy front fork. They did decide to ditch that and they've kept that aside for now. Obviously with the Trek Marlin 8 for 2022, we know that comes with an Air Judy. So the Trek Marlin 6 just has that SR Suntour XCT30 fork. So it's a good reasonable fork. It is just a spring loaded one. There is no air to it. Um, it does have the manual lockout switch, so it keeps a lot of those features. Um, it just keeps that price a little more friendly, but it's actually the same as last year's prices. Very confusing. Pretty much you can't compare any of the 2022 bikes with the 2021s. It just makes a whole lot of confusion. You can't look at the original prices. Shipping price, everything changed. You just have to start with a fresh slate. Just start fresh. The Trek Merlin 6 is now a 1x10 Dior system with the SR Suntour XCT30 fork. Still has some great hydraulic disc brakes on it and will get you going everywhere. So what else has changed? Other little details that Trek has slid in there is it does come with the connection wheel, same as last year. So this one does not have the option to go tubeless ready rim. You would have to change the rim. So although some Perspects are getting an upgrade and it sounds like a better bike, in the Trek Marlin 6, it's actually a really more budget version of the Trek Marlin 7 of last year. I don't know why I keep referencing last year when it just makes it so confusing. Another interesting thing they've got is a pro wheel front crank on there, which I don't even know what that is. Um, never heard of it. Doesn't mean it's not a good brand. I haven't heard of every brand out there. Um, but it is interesting they don't just have the Dior system or Shimano crank on there. And um, obviously it's just another cost saving point, which they're gonna go for. Overall, with all the part changes on this bike, I think it has lost its title of the everyday carry bike. The Trek Marlin 5 for 2022 may be much more better value now. Less money, has that two by eight, has pretty good shifting uh, components to it at the speeds they're gonna shift, and the brakes are still a nice hydraulic disc brakes for that level of bike. It still has all kind of the check boxes you need for that kind of price range without going crazy. The Trek Marlin 6 though for 2022 is just an interesting one. With them not releasing the 2022 Trek Marlin 7 at the same time, it is hard to speculate whether this is the end game and they'll skip to the 8 or if the 7 still exists. I personally think the 7 will still exist and it will have probably like the SRAM NX 1x11 system to it. So it'll be nice, but not as good as the eight. That way they'd have a really clean system of three by seven on the four, two by eight on the five, one by 10 on the six, one by 11 and one by 12, blada blada. So when you've looked over all the specs and this is like the pre-release version, I haven't seen this yet. Obviously things can change. 
Um, they are starting to sell them now though, so we may as well talk about them. If this is the exact spec that comes in, it's like the commuter who wants it simple or the very entry level biker who wants it simple. So they give the nice simple drivetrain to it with a basic fork and other components around it. So it's not a complicated shifting unit. It's easy to use. There's no real reason for the two by for most people. Again, if you're a bit more fast commuter or you want that little easier gear on the climbs and stuff like that, you still have that option in the Merlin 5. But if you don't really use those gears and you don't really need it, then choose the Merlin 6 because now it's got that one by 10 on it. Great range to it. It's gonna work really well. The fork, unless you're doing crazy hardcore trails, it's still a good fork. There's nothing wrong with it. It'll get you through everything. It'll get you down the trail. It'll cruise around town, no problem. And with that lockout, it's actually gonna work really well. It's actually like a really cleverly designed bike. It sounds impressive. It works simple without overcomplicating it. You know, you don't need to sell this to someone who is looking to be a hardcore trail rider or anything like that. But it might be a nice little simplification for someone who is not really commuting as fast as they want to, it's just getting them to where they want and they don't care how fast they're going. You'll still be able to get good speeds on this, like the range is still pretty much there. It's just some of the, it's just simple. It, that's what it comes down to. You've made a simple bike, one by 10, simple front fork, which you don't have to pay through the roof for. And that's the Merlin 6 now. The Merlin 5 is going to be your everyday carry bike because it's got that two bit, two by eight on it. It's just gonna work so good for everything. One by 10 with a basic front fork is gonna work really well on most things, but you're gonna find some limitations when you're coming to the mountain biking side of things, really developing your trail skills and actual trail riding. And that's where the Trek Merlin 7, which I assume, haven't seen any rumors or leaks about this, but it has to have that SRAM system on it, the 1x11 to match with the SRAM of the 1x12 on the Merlin 8, it just makes sense. 10 speed, simple bike, easy for everyone. No one's gonna go wrong with that bike, but they'll have the upgraded big brother of the Merlin 7, which will be a much bigger range now. It's gonna really make it that entry level mountain bike. And then the Merlin 8 fills that gap where it transitions into the Excalibur, so you get it. It's a trail bike now, you know, not very upgradable with that straight head tube, but it's a trail bike. It'll do everything to it. So these are all just pre-release and I get your order in now. Many of them transitioning. So you, if you had an order in, some of them can bump to the 21s to 22s. If you had a 2021 and now you're going to be getting a 2022, I think for the most part, you're still in a good bike unless you were looking for that super wide range of gears with the finer increments, I don't think you'll really notice it. It's still a really great simple bike. The drivetrain upgrade is really nice and it's worth the value they've added onto it. The rest of it still is a good quality bike. So I'd definitely look into this bike. It's hard to say exactly if it's the everyday carry bike without knowing whether or not the Merlin 7 exists yet. This one exists. I know it exists. You can order it now. You can check out websites which show it. It exists. The Merlin 7, they have no news from. There's nothing about it, so I have no idea yet. Maybe in another month, you know, the stagger in the releases, I don't know. But so far, it looks like a good bike. As soon as we get one in, which will hopefully be sooner than later, doesn't sound great though, I'll do a in-person video. I think it's going to be a nice bike. The Merlin 5 may just take the name of the Trek Merlin 5 and add it to the everyday carry bike, the ultimate machine for everyone who doesn't know what they're doing. It's the Trek Merlin 5. It wins every time and I think Trek is really following that to it. Trek Merlin 6, it's adding a little upgrade. It's just so interesting. So it'll be really interesting to see when we get in and we'll be able to look it over, maybe take for a ride and actually feel the shifting. Obviously we know it's gonna shift well. I think really what we're waiting for is the Trek Merlin 7. See what they're gonna release in the coming months for that. It's gonna be just cool little setup. Crazy times right now, so definitely get your bike order in. This is just a quick update. Obviously this is all pre-release. Hopefully they all get shipped out pretty much to the exact spec. Um, those are 
pretty much what's on Trek's website now and you can see on retailers' websites because people are pre-selling it because we don't have any bikes left pretty much. I mean, we've got some, but in that category, it's pretty tight. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching again. Comment below if you've heard anything about the Trek Marlin 7, if you've got a Trek Marlin 6 on order, it's been bumped, or what's going on with that? Did you bump down to a Trek Marlin 5? I'm really interested in the kind of whole bike shortage um, thing. It's kind of interesting. Sucks for many people who potentially sold a bike and had no idea it happened, but whatever. All right, guys, good luck out there. We'll see ya.